This is an article that I put out in 2013. I had written about education a fair bit before this as well, but this is one of the ones that I uh, compiled a bunch of information on, okay? Sort of sharing my bit of information regarding what my perspective is regarding education, okay? And this is one of the uh, sort of visions, the foundations of what it is that I am doing online here. Okay, and what my general overview of our per current present economic system is. Okay, and I've linked up a lot of different articles in this article as well. So there's a lot of hyperlinks going all over the place. There's some videos that are embedded. Okay, some of the videos are dead, some of the links may not work, they've been taken off or whatnot. Okay, so there's certain ideas that I was specifically referencing sometimes or general thoughts that I was referencing but let me read uh, read you this uh, little bit of this article okay and I put this out and I'll provide if you're watching this on another platform I'll provide this link in the description of this video because we are live streaming this as well um, so it will be up okay so the title of this article is this paradigm shift in education Krishnamurti on the educator, raw on ignorance, raw I'm referring to Robert Anton Wilson, Gatto, John Taylor Gatto on the system, and Hamming on learning. And all of these people are uh, had a serious critique of our current education system, and there's other people that have also referenced in this, such as Chomsky and other people. Okay, so let me read that title to you again. Paradigm shift in education. Krishnamurti on the educator, Ra on ignorance, Gato on the system, and Hamming on learning. Okay. First paragraph. If I'm quoting anything, I'll put it in quote. So first paragraph. And this first paragraph basically sums up my core perspective on our current education system. The root cause of society's ills is how we deal with education. Deep down, we all know this. But for decades, we have barely lifted a finger to address it. The main reason for this inaction is because most of us are, are ourselves products of this defective system. We have been programmed for obedience, turned into self-absorbed, apathetic beings that submit to authority and fear dissent. Okay, that's the first paragraph. And right below that, I link to, an art, uh, to a video by Noam Chomsky and it's titled education is a system of indoctrinating indoctrination of the youth highly recommend watching that video okay the next paragraph we are bombarded with propaganda that wants us to believe in the economy that if everyone had a job and the economy was growing at whatever rate our centralized government had set then all would be well there are two problems with this mindset first our crony cannibalistic economic system is uh, will never reach this zenith second it's a lie a better economy is not the solution to our woes what is is educating our children to become integrated beings free of envy and materialism unfortunately our present education system is not set up to achieve this task not yet anyway but it's coming and it will change everything and here below that paragraph i link to a video by alan watts and it's titled what is money uh what if money was no object okay worth watching the next paragraph this is a there is a war going on for the hearts and minds of our children for the control of the future our present education system is collapsing and numerous parties are vying over who will be the dominant player during this revolution hence the faction faction in control of the system from billionaires like rupert murdoch and bill gates to politicians governments traditional and charter schools massive online courses homeschoolers teachers unions and parents everyone is joining the fray and for all of those names and systems teachers units all of those I've provided links to articles that were active live 
when I initially wrote that piece. And below that paragraph, I link to a Ken Robertson, uh, Robinson speech that many people have seen. Uh, and it's titled, How to Escape Education's Death Valley. And he gave this on TED Talk, right? Next paragraph. No, mat no matter what the final outcome, the simple fact is that a centralized system should never again be allowed to dominate education in our society. We are diverse and social creatures and require intimate and personal stimulation to grow, learn, question, and create. To be educated, we need engagement. To be fulfilled, we need to be triggered. We need educators that engage students to challenge, inspire, and motivate, okay? And below that, I link to an art, to a video that's dead now, okay? And it's basically a reaction of a student in school. And you can find tons of these. It's just this one uh, I recall well because the student stood up in class and really put the teacher and the system in its place, okay? It was phenomenal, right? And it's titled, or it used to be titled, a uh, high school student goes off on teacher about his education, okay? And there's other links. There's interview with Jeff Bliss below that. I can't even remember what that is, okay? The following two paragraphs. As for how we can achieve this task, the answer has been available for decades. We just haven't acted on them. Below you will find some examples of what needs to be done. What follows are excerpts from Krishnamurti, uh, Judy, Judu Krishnamurti's Education and the Significance of Life. L it links to a PDF, and I put out a video where we read excerpts of Krishnamurti's Education and the Significance of Life. And that book I highly recommend reading for any parent, for any student, for any educator. And in my opinion, it should be mandatory reading for everyone in school, right? I don't care what type of school you go to, okay? So let me read that paragraph again. And I reference a few different people here, and I have links for all of these, and there's excerpts below all of, all of this as well. Okay, so reading that paragraph again. What follows are excerpts from Krishna, Judu Krishna Murti's Education and the Significance of Life, as well as lectures from three playlists. Robert Anton Wilson's first segment, as he explains, as he explains everything, or old Bob exposes his ignorance, ignorance, links to torrent on the Pirate Bay, okay? John Taylor Gatto's first hour interview regarding the ultimate history lesson, and Richard Hamming's opening lecture on learning to learn, okay? And John Taylor Gatto is amazing. I highly recommend following, uh, reading some of the stuff. He unfortunately passed away in 2018, okay, last year. Uh, one of the greatest educators ever. Um, Richard Hamming is extremely well known in the scientific community, um, on uh, sort of colleagues with uh, Richard Feynman and stuff like this. And there's a huge lecture series there where he's teaching a lot of things. I've gone through that half that playlist. Okay, I really like this teaching style. And then uh, the works com uh, completed. E uh, so the last little sentence I have here is the works complement each other quite well and are well worth exploring, especially for educators and parents. Okay, and I'm not going to bother reading the excerpts, uh, but I highly recommend watching the John Taylor G Gatto video series. The ultimate history lesson uh, is five hour video, five, six hour video lecture series. Okay, I just wanted to read that to you guys. Okay. Um, that's my take on our current education system, okay? So I'm just going to go back to chat. Uh, and then there's, here, let me tell you one other article I've I put out as well, and I'll link this as well, okay? And this is short. More, I'm, I'm just going to read the first, just three paragraphs that I wrote that uh, below that are excerpts from three different education sort of mindsets and systems, okay? And uh, here, let me link that up with the, with the chat, send that off. And I'll provide the link in the description of this video. And the title of this post is excerpts from three articles on education. Dorothy Sayers, Richard 
F. Feynman and John Taylor Gatto. Okay, and my intro to these excerpts is to say that our education system is broken and in need of a gargantuan overhaul is an understatement, but it will happen since it is inevitable side effect of the liberation of data that comes with an open internet. What form these new systems of education will take are yet to be determined. Only time will tell if they will be optimized replicas of the present models or if they will be based on a new way of teaching and thought. Either way, the overhaul is long overdue and I for one am excited to see the transformation. Below you will find excerpts from three excellent articles on education that address some of the problems with our current systems. They are well worth the read. Okay.